hit me. Are you sure, man? Yeah, I'm going for a five-card hand. Come on. Okay. Here. I'm a stick. What you got? How would I know? You tell me. Not good, man. You got a uh, 47. Damn. You're bad luck for me, you know? When I play the other guys, I always win. Boss, take a look at these two chips. One's a fake. That's amazing. You didn't even touch him. No, I just took a guess. Why else would he come in with two chips and sound so worried? You take a look. Oh, yeah, the dragon on this got the sunglasses and a white stick. Insolent bastards! I'll make sure the cashiers are extra vigilant. It's obvious where these chips are coming from. The Sindaco family owns a plastics factory across town. I'm gonna blow it to shit! Man, look, don't trip. I got you on this. Pretty terrible. See you later. See you later, pal. This jacket's Italian silk. Okay, I guess you're right. Go on. <laughs> it all depends how you look at things. Any race fans out there? Hey, any football fans? Soccer fans? Go home. We don't want you here. <laughs> Your game is terrible, and we don't win at it. Next caller. Hi, Derek. My name's Cole, and I'm a big racing fan. I tell you that where I'm from, there's nothing more exciting than getting shit faced and going deaf in 110 degrees and watching cars go in a circle for several hours. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I think that's what it's all about. Uh, that and putting a lot of stickers on the car, buddy. Yeah, that really gets on my nerves. I mean, I'm a bald man. My wife left me to go, and half the cars are sponsored by bald Castrodon Team Racing? Yeah, what in the name of my mother's cat is that all about? I mean, racing teams should be sponsored by things that are family friendly, like hard liquor or cigarettes, not the reason my wife ran off with that car. What? Hey, screw your wife, pal. Probably a lot of guys did. <laughs> This ain't Lonely Hearts. I mean, let's stop showering each other in golden sports drink and get this ball back in play. Hello, color. Oh, Derek, that guy was talking about the biathlon. It's sick, I tell you, and unnatural. This town has never been the same since they had the Olympic carry years ago. Kids playing at javelins like ancient... Not again. Let's go. Hey, who's this prick? Somebody take care of this joker.
You want me to future shows. Oh, oh my God. Kevin, hello, you're on the air. All the missiles are under my control, not the government's control. Why do you think they put me in solitary confinement for eight months? Because I can launch nuclear missiles by just whistling into a phone. Really? Great. Could you wipe out all the other radio stations in town for me? Hey, I don't do that anymore. I only use my powers for good. Ah, look, this isn't a cartoon or TV show. Let's get real for a second. The problem with people like you who have superpowers is that you really don't use them for good. If I had superpowers, everyone would be Hi, naked. Yeah. And women signing autographs at conventions couldn't resist me. All right, go into the conspiracy line. Yeah, this is Montag. Okay. Uh, my name's Montag. Yes, yes, I got that. Hey, have you ever leveled that out to an helicopter? Uh, no. That's really cool. I thought you were a DJ. You used to talk more about killing people with helicopters. I prefer electric cables. Tightly wound around people's throats, watching them go through the face. We have a lot of aerospace fans, and plenty of murderers who like the show. Inside, I feel like it's time to close the pod bay door and take a rest. Until next time, reset your memory chip and don't believe what they tell you. This is Marvin Tree. You're leaving Area 53. Kiflam! Careful. That was Area 53, where reality is an alien concept. This weekend on Weasel. Will you look at the size of that thing? Hey Carl, how'd it go? Tell Woozy we'll be getting no more trouble with them counterfeit chips.